What makes you say that? Because of the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off right at 7.30 every morning, right? So if the body had been in the garden before 7.30, then it should have been completely soaked. Oh, hold on! I remember this part perfectly! The body was wet! Dripping wet, in fact! Yeah, because we put water to put out the fire. Sorry, Toko, but you're wrong. I'm wrong? How? Are you saying only the mouth down south was wet? How dare you spew what? such indecent words! No, I'm saying that the body was wet, but not because of the sprinklers. What do you mean? The sprinklers, the whole body would be wet. By denying the sprinkler, are you trying to deny my entire existence? For that, you're totally wacko. If you really think it wasn't the sprinkler, Just remember what the body was like after the explosion, and you'll see why it wasn't the sprinklers. The top half of the body was wet, yes, but the bottom half was completely dry. If the sprinklers got the body wet, shouldn't the whole body have been wet? So they only got the top wet? The bottom was completely dry? I'm so sick of her. Let's just move on. The reason only the top half was wet was because... While the body was still on fire, I doused it with water. But only the part on fire, the top half. Oh, then I guess the sprinklers are really sticky. Uh -huh. So if the sprinklers didn't get the body wet, then the murder must have taken place sometime after the sprinklers turned on at 7.30 in the morning. Which means she must have been killed sometime between then and when the body was discovered at 9. But Makoto's alibi was only missing from 10 o'clock last night to 7.30 this morning, right? So there's no yeah. way Makoto could have done it! I guess you had an alibi after all. Good for you! In which case, the only one left without an alibi is Kyoko.
I'd just like to say one thing. If you vote for me, and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. You fall for me and I die here. Which is why I can't let that happen. But if we don't, and you're ready to kill, we all die. So are you saying you're not the culprit? Of course I'm not. I have no reason to kill anyone. This is a trap the Mastermind has laid for us. A trap? <laughs> We're this far into the game and now you decide to blame me? Stop wasting time! Stop wasting energy! You really think your little trick is gonna work? Shut up, you! You got it, boss! Shutting up now! Anyway, Kyoko, you actually did have a reason to kill her. Huh? She did? She thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair. In other words, the mastermind behind everything. So she killed her to try and put a stop to all this. Isn't that right, Kyoko? But you made one catastrophic mistake. Mukuro wasn't the mastermind at all. And as a result, you were forced into another trial. Something I'm sure you weren't at all expecting. So that was her motive? If she had a motive, and no alibi. Well then, I think it's pretty clear Kyoko's gotta be the culprit. I'm not the only one without an alibi. Makoto's explanation is still insufficient. Huh? The sprinklers didn't get the body wet, but that doesn't mean the murder happened when he said it did. What are you? Because you see, there is a way the body could have avoided getting wet. Interesting. I'm listening. All it would take is covering the body with a certain something to keep it from getting wet. Oh yeah, the... I got it! Got it. You're talking about the tarp, aren't you? You catch on quick. You're right. All you'd have to do is cover the body with the tarp, and that'd take care of the water. In fact, that's exactly what the killer did. The dirt pattern on the tarp can attest to that. Only one side of the tarp got dirty, because that's the side that got covered in water. The side that faced down over the body, meanwhile, kept perfectly clean. This proves that the killer used the tarp to keep the body from getting soaked. But why would they go to all that effort just to keep the body from getting wet? Most likely so they could cloud the issue of when the murder actually took place. In other words, to create an excuse exactly like the one Makoto just gave us. Something's not right. And what might that be? By covering the body with the tarp, the killer prevented it from getting wet. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side is because the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp, it was totally spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Since it was facing down toward the body, of course it didn't get dirty. By covering the body with the tarp, 
the killer prevented it from getting wet. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side was the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp, it was totally spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Since it was facing down toward the body, of course it didn't get dirty. No, it's wrong. Actually, one side being clean is pretty strange if you think about it. Because the blood wasn't dry before the body got blown up, right? Yakuya said it himself. Not to touch it, or you might get some on you. If you put a tarp on a body in that state, it absolutely would have gotten blood on it. Well, maybe the culprit washed it, so nobody would know they'd used it. If they had, they would have washed both sides. Just washing the one side wouldn't hide anything. Oh, yeah, true. More than that, what if the very blood we saw on the body was meant as a kind of camouflage? What if, after the killer used the tarp to avoid the sprinklers, they then covered the body in blood that didn't belong to the victim? You mean, someone else's blood? Where would they get something like that? I know! They could have grabbed some of the blood packs from the nurse's office! That's what Hifumi did, right? When he pretended to be dead? I just don't remember. No, that's not what happened this time. The killer got the blood from right there in the garden. Oh. Could it have been chicken blood? Yeah, one of them was missing. Oh, I think I wanted chicken. It's crazy. What? Foul. Chicken blood? When I checked the chicken coop before the murder, there were five chickens. <laughs> but after the murder, there were only four. So, you're saying someone killed a chicken and then covered yep. the body with its blood? Yep. Man, that's messed up. Okay. Killing a living thing just to do something like that is awful. They should have at least eaten it. What? I wonder if the killer had to get the blood from the scene so they wouldn't be spotted walking around. Anyway, there's no denying that a chicken went missing, which provides a basis for my theory. Perhaps, but even so, there's one thing that still doesn't make sense. You said the culprit used the tarp to avoid the water and then covered the body in blood, right? Yep. If that's the case, then the blood should have soaked into the ground around the body. But that's not what we saw. Only the victim's clothing had blood on it. The ground was completely clean. I have to agree. True. That certainly is strange. Maybe they didn't apply the blood at the scene. Maybe they covered the coat in blood beforehand. They covered it beforehand? When you discovered the body, was it wearing the coat like you normally would? Um, I think so. Wait, no. The head was through the neck hole, but the arms weren't in the sleeves. Yeah. Then that settles it. Sorry, I'm having a tough time keeping up. Here's what happened. The murder took place time. before the sprinklers went off, but the body didn't get wet because the killer covered it with the tarp. Then, later, at the same time... 
time the killer was gathering up the tarp, they pulled the coat over the body, the coat they'd already covered in blood. Pull the coat. They pull the coat. <laughs> this series of cover-ups was meant to disguise the actual time the murder occurred. They wanted us to think the murder happened sometime after the... I hit... Sprinklers had gone off at 7.30. If that's actually what took place, it certainly becomes possible that the murder happened earlier. But to pull all that off, wouldn't they have had to go back to the garden after the sprinklers turned off? That actually wouldn't have been all that difficult. Huh? They already had the coat ready, so they just had to grab the tarp and pull the coat over the body. They'd be done in no time. Maybe, but still. Hina. After you met up with Makoto in the dining hall, did you two stay together from that point on? Oh, no. I headed off to the gym, and Makoto didn't show up till later. Then he had plenty of time to spare, wouldn't you say? <laughs> That's not... Don't bother saying it's not possible. I must admit, Kyoko's reasoning is sound. Makoto's alibi is inadequate. This ball sack can be moving for a while. What was Joe trying to do that means? This guy's a body fan, it's too much of a Well then, it looks like. The murder took place before those. The murder took place before the sprinkler turned off. The sack covered the body with the child to prevent them from getting wet. Later, when they removed the child, the sack placed the white jacket on the bottom of the body. This jacket, this jacket had previously been treated with blood to make it look like horse had been wearing it. We're back to square one. Makoto's alibi is no good, so once again, our suspects are him and Kyoko. For serious, man? Which one of them did it? Hey, why don't we let luck decide? Let's flip a coin. 50-50 yeah. odds. Oh! Good. See? Pretty good idea, right? No, not that. I just remembered something super serious. Well, don't just stand there. Out with it. You know that knife we found all black and burnt? The one we found stuck in the body before yeah, it exploded, like right? According to the Monokuma file, the knife went all the way through, from front to back. So, what about it? I'm pretty okay. sure I'd seen that knife somewhere There's before. Us. That's what I thought when I first saw it. I just remembered. No, 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 what we can do with it? Can't tell what we keep us with it. We don't know what she might do. I don't want anyone else. What do we do? We hang on to Makoto. It's the knife we gave to Makoto? You don't seem surprised. You must have noticed earlier. It, yeah. Then why did you hide that fact? It's not that I hid it. It's just. I'm sure what actually happened last night, but maybe I ever did kill him. Suspicious! Very suspicious indeed! The knife we found stuck in the body came from Makoto! Now I'm totally convinced he did it! Well, thousand percent convinced! I'm not sure about it. We found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, then 
That seals it! Makoto did it! Just because I had the knife once? That automatically makes me the killer? Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? So there's no question. You took that knife of yours and killed her with it. What a horrible man you are, Makoto. You guys trust me with that. The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, then that seals it. Makoto did it. Just because I had the knife once, that automatically makes me the killer? Well, getting stabbed is what killed me. No, it's wrong. Okay. Wait, hold on. The stab wound isn't what killed Mukuro. That should be clear from the description of the cover-up we just heard. Her. Lies! We never talked about what killed her! No, don't you remember? The killer covered the dead body with the tarp, and then put the bloody coat on it, right? In other words, the victim never wore that blood-stained coat until after they were dead. Okay, fine. So what? So, when we discovered the body, the knife had been thrust through the coat along with the body. Meaning, if she wasn't stabbed until the coat was put on, and she was already dead at that point, Obviously, the stab wound isn't what killed her. Maybe you stabbed her twice. Once to kill her and once to cover it up. Well, they can't. Oh, yeah, problem. I got it! The Monokuma file clearly states that there was only one stab wound. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it sure did. I totally forgot about that. I guess we'll say mm -hmm. was just another piece of camouflage set up by the true killer. They probably stabbed her to draw attention away from what actually killed her. Exploding the body afterward was probably meant to do the same thing. The explosion severely damaged the body, making it impossible to know what really killed her. It was all the killer's attempt to destroy all evidence of their crime. So they wanted us to notice the stab wound and then detonated the body afterwards. They meant for us to latch onto the knife as the cause of death, then destroy any evidence proving otherwise. Oh, hey, I have a question. It kind of goes back to the beginning, but what's the deal with that explosion anyway? Why'd the body just blow up all of a sudden like that? If you bothered to put that lump of gray matter between your ears to use, you'd know the answer. Well, if you're so smart, just tell me. I'll tell you, I bet some unknown quantum particle caused an atomic level spontaneous combustion! I might be dumb, but even I'm not dumb enough to believe that. Okay. 
Okay, I can't tell you that I don't know quantum particles because I also know that quantum changes are conversion. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell her or we won't make any headway on this. There's a bomb with this in two. I got it! After the explosion, we found a tiny fragment of something on the ground near the body, right? That fragment reveals the cause of the explosion. Huh? You know, I feel like I've seen something like it somewhere before. Okay. That's only natural. Because, of course... We saw the same thing when we dismantled Monokuma. It's part of a bomb. Oh! Then the explosion was because of the Monokuma bomb. Yep. Anyway, the culprit's motive is becoming more and more obvious by the minute. They wanted the knife wound to look like the fatal injury, so that we'd suspect Makoto. And the only one who would benefit from that is the only other possible suspect. You, Kyoko. Hold on a second, Byakuya. What's the problem? Well, I just feel like... We need to think this through. We still don't know what actually killed the victim. That's true. It's definitely bugging me. What really killed her? Fine. I have no problem with that. Let us continue the debate. It won't change the facts of the case regardless. Then, shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Yes. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead when that happened. And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? And then, there's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um, according to the Monokuma file, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head! And more than that... The victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Then, shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, yeah. And it wasn't even done. There's only one up there. Yeah. Um, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Then, shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, yeah. And it wasn't even done. There's only one other. Oh, yeah. Um, that's gotta be it. There was ever. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Then, shall we continue the. De the victim's fatal injury has yet to be. The, the explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, yeah. She was already. And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? And then, there's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um, according to the- That's gotta be it! There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head! And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire- Then, shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, oh. correct? 
The explosion didn't kill her for sure. It was already took and it wasn't you because then there's only one other thing. Oh yeah. Um, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined. There we go. No, it's wrong. Oh, wrong. Mufaro died because of the blow to the back of the head she suffered. What about the wounds all over the rest of her body? They didn't have anything to do with it? The Monokuma file makes it clear that those weren't fresh wounds. Oh yeah, good point. If they were old, I guess they don't really matter. Okay, then we're safe in assuming the blow to the back of her head is what killed her. But then, what was the murder weapon? The Monokuma file says she was hit with a blonde object about as thick as a metal pipe. Oh, I bet it was the pickaxe! How is that even possible? If you hit someone with that, it'd cave their skull in completely! Well, maybe they held it the other way and hit her with the handle. No way! The balance would be all off. You wouldn't be able to swing it with any kind of power. I wouldn't mind testing it on you if you want. No thanks. I bet you just hit me with a metal end and call it an accident. I'd love to scoop out that nasty brain of yours, throw it on the ground and, and spit on it! So you are you just like you. <laughs> I feel the same way! Looks like we're on the same page this time. Seriously? We want to figure out what killed her, right? It just so happens we already know. We already know? I knew we could count on you, Master. So what was it? Go ahead and tell them, Makoto. Surely you've deduced the real murder weapon? Mukuro was hit in the back of the head with something, and that's what killed her. And that something was the titanium arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. Arrow? That's what the Cobra attacked Mukuro with? Indeed. There's no doubt about it. Are you sure? Hey! How dare you back off, Master! You have no right! I'm not backtalking anything. I'm just saying what I think. Oh my god, I think I'm in the pretty good before she wanna kill. So next time I'm I'm just quick. I'm trying to